morning YouTube and the internet. Today I'm going to double check my um, oil clearance measurements that I've taken with the verniers uh, with some plastic gauge. I finally managed to get hold of some and before I make a decision on the head or even if I'm going to take this into the can place uh, for them to do proper measurements with actual micrometers etc because I'm not buying a whole another set actually I'll be getting a micrometer small enough but I won't get a ball gate small enough before I do all that I, I want to just sort of double check where I'm at so first thing you got to do when you're using plastic gauge is clean everything because any bits of dirt or debris or anything on the uh, or even oil will affect the reading so um, I've had these lightly coated in oil and now I've got to clean it off. I've already gone through and recleaned these journals. I've cracked them all. They're all loose at the moment. Waiting for this. Now I'll just take that seal off. I don't know what I'm having it there. It's a nice clean rag. Okay, so I'll just pull these cam caps off and uh, go to the plastic gauge and we'll be in business. We've got our exhaust cam ready, nice and clean. I had the intake one out before, that was the wrong one. So all we do is we put it in place. That seal doesn't need to be there. So then we put our caps on and we torque it. Uh, we don't put our caps on just yet. Because we've got to put our plastic gauge on. Let's set them there. All nice and clean. There's no oil, there's no lubrication. We don't rotate this. All we do is tighten them down. This is plastic gauge. I've never used it before myself. There's one piece. So what we do is we sit this on. Top is the journal. We place our cap on top of that. So, and then we torque it down. Yeah, the cans aren't sitting down properly at the moment. So let me get the can sitting down there properly before I destroy the limited supply of plastic gauge, which I'm going to need more of. I figured it was. Would be okay, but maybe not. There you go. Cam's down. I've put plastic gauge now on all the journals. Uh, now I'm going to um, put all the caps on. The cam is sitting down in its recess. So all we do now is we put these all on. The washing machine has a fit. And we talk them down to spec simple. Now, as I was saying before the washing machine interrupted me, um, we just wind all these caps on there and we do them up to spec using the correct talking sequence. So using the correct talking sequence which I got out of the manual, we make sure we talk to spec which is between 9 and 12 newton meters. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. 
14. 14. Now the plastic gauge is compressed into the oil clearance. And I'm going to double check the manual for the undoing sequence because I think it does matter when you're doing this. So the undoing sequence is the exact opposite as you would expect to the doing up, but um, always pays to check. One, two. So here's what we're looking at as far as the clearances. So this is 25 microns up to 175 microns. And we compare a smear to the width of these. So if we come over here, it's definitely smaller than that, smaller than that, smaller than that. It's about that, isn't it? The red marker and the thing is about the same as that. So that's 63 microns, or mm, there's no exact comparison. There's thou on the other side. So these measure from 1 to 7 thou. So I will just get these down and compare them to my clearances from before. But that's, that's quite large, which is, and that's what I'm expecting, that they're too big. Because um, I think the... They should be between 20 and 42. Uh, with a max, with a like a maximum of 90 microns, as in bit less than 90. The service limit. Hmm, that one's stuck to the cap. Near enough, exactly 63 again. Structure this as well. 63. So I'm seeing a pattern here. So let's have a look at 50 thou. It's definitely smaller than 50 as far as the width. And it is, look, it's fractionally bigger than the 63 thou, but it's much closer to that. So it's somewhere between 63 and 50 there. But remembering the limit, it's supposed to be 40. So I'm going to write 63 against that. So what's that? An increment of 13 microns, which is 5 ten thousandths of an inch, approximately. So that's sort of the distance between those two measurements. So that one's actually probably the other side of 63, but I'll keep the 63 as consistent as I'm rounding. The increment the other way is the same, it seems to be 13 microns, so... That one's exactly 63. This one's a drama, Take it off. And number 7 from memory has a much bigger spec. Like it's... Um, almost completely unloaded so that it's allowed heaps of slop this is this plastic gauge has stayed intact perfectly on this case so you can see how it sort of looks when it's ideal and you can see it's not close so it's the little thing is slightly smaller than the 63 Marginally bigger than 76, but it's definitely much closer to the 76, so I'm going to call that 76. And you'd expect that, the number 7 does have a higher range for, I mean, I suppose there's nothing on the back side. There's only one valve spring it's compressing on the back side of this side. So that's that. Let's have a look at what I measured. So we're saying more than 50 and near to 63 microns across all of them with a very slight variance and 76 on the back one and it's big and exhaust cam um, that's the can dimensions that's the journals so 
my poor manual measurements, I'm ranging between 45 and 80, and then 70 on the back one. Um, that was the good one. The exhaust cam was the, uh, the intake cam was the bad one, that was the exhaust cam. So that tells me, and, now, and that's what I measure here, I measure that it's across the board, it's outside of spec. Clearance is too big, basically. My vernies aren't good enough to accurately say exactly how how big or how small it is. Which is why I've double checked with this. And this is confirmed. Now it's inside the service limit on the exhaust cam side, but it's outside the factory spec. I had to figure out how much that matters to me, but now I have to do the intake, which was bigger and worse. So that'll be the next thing I do. Rinse and repeat on the intake side and see what I come up with. Before I do that, I have to now clean the gauge off the camps. Oh, and the journals. So the key is that you don't use anything remotely as close to it as hard as the cam. So you don't mark it, scratch it, damage it anyway. Make sure you don't pick up anything on your scraper as well. Make sure it's clean. So I'm now on the intake side and um, I've come up with an unusual reading. Consistently, um, 50 microns on the card, or close to it. It's, it was slightly uh, the larger diameter side of it, but very close to that. Except for one which was marginally overtalked, so I'm discrediting that measurement. For that reason, um, now that disagrees with my measurements, saying that the intake side was um, was worse in combination with you know, cam and, and journals. However, it's still outside of spec. So, but now that I have this oil clearance measurement, um, what I can do is when I get the micrometers, which are turning up this week sometime, um, is measure these accurately, the camps, and then I'll know exactly that from that I'll be able to determine the journal diameter because I'm not buying bore gauges just to measure that because they're quite expensive um, and if I get an unusual reading or if I'm still not sure what I'm going to do I'll take this head into a place and get them to measure it they've made the offer to measure it uh, in the hope of getting some business off me and I'm hoping to give them some business however uh, at this point I don't know if I need to buy anything off them yet, so, uh, but they've been very, very helpful so far in offering to measure and offering expert advice. I haven't even been to the store, I've just been emailing the guy and he's been very helpful. So, for now, once again at a standstill, I mean I could plastic gauge the mains and big ends to confirm my measurements, but um, I've got the precision tools setting up for that. The bore gauge and the micrometers, um, which would tell me 
I'm pretty sure they'll just confirm what I've already measured. These here, because they're such a small diameter, it's so difficult to measure accurately with the verniers. Um, I never fully trusted the measurements. But it is still, it agrees that it's outside of spec and the oil clearances are too large. So, but what it doesn't say is it's outside the service thing. So, uh, what I was measuring was much bigger clearances before. Uh, but yeah, I'll find out next week and uh, figure out if I need to take it somewhere. And then I'll have to think about whether or not I'm buying new cams or if I have to salvage the head or both or what I'm going to do. But we're getting closer. Alright, so just to double check before getting all panicky about my measurements. Um, I decided to double check the, uh, the oil clearances. Now the oil clearances are stated in here. But RB25 DDT data point zero four five. Now I know the mains and rods, well I believe the mains and rods start at 0.02 and go up to about 0.04, 0.045. Uh, so, and I thought, I knew that I could use the same plastic gauge for the full range, so I thought, oh, that must be close, so I just had that in my mind. But uh, actually, the camshaft oil clearance is 0.045 to 0.086. And... They're all inside that. Um, our intake, number one is a bit odd because it's got that split, so I don't think it measured correctly. There's like an oil passage in it, in the, in the actual shaft. So it should, it's a bit big, but it's still in spec at um, 0.076. And this sort of 0.05 across the board, except for Three, which was slightly over tightened, um, so that reads a smaller one at 0.038, and I don't believe that for a minute. Um, and the intake that was the intake the exhaust side is measuring a bigger one, is bigger across the board at 0.063 approximately, however. That's still in spec too because it's 0.045 to 0.086. So I think I'm pretty good. I think the cams are going to be fine. Now what I will do is I'll double check with the uh, micrometers, my cam journal diameters, but I think I'm good. Because um, my big concern was actually being able to use the head. That was my problem. Um, if my clearances are fine, doesn't matter which combinations of too big or too small there are. If the clearances are fine, the clearances are fine, and that's the governing factor. And those all clearances are pretty much in the middle of the range. Happy days. That's empty.